What's up guys, this is actually not new. We've been able to cast our iPhones to our Quest this entire time. Welcome back to The Construct. Well, okay, not the entire time, but maybe it was about late last year, December or so, the Skybox app actually added casting to their experimental features. You can find the Skybox VR player video app in the Quest Store for $9.99. But before you go out and buy it, let's take a look at it so you can see how well this functions because again, it is an experimental feature. So this app is $9.99 USD. I wanna show you this before you run out and buy it just for AirPlay. It's not necessarily ready for prime time, but they're transparent about that. They do say that it is an experimental feature. So what you wanna do is hop down here to the global settings right here and scroll down and there is a casting option now. And it says it may not be fully stable. So this actually launched late last year. So it's been in experimental stages for a while. I'm sure they probably took this as far as they could, but I was impressed in how well it was working. So let's take a look at it. Let's go into pass through so I can see my phone. So when you first turn casting on, you get to name the device. So it's defaulted to Skybox, but you can name it to whatever you want, but this will show up in your phone when you go to mirror your device. Let's just leave it as Skybox just to keep things simple. Let me click okay. So now you wanna grab your phone and I have here a couple of photos and videos that I can cast to the headset. Now you can cast things like YouTube, but there's really no reason to do that. There's plenty of ways to watch YouTube in headset or any streaming service. You can just watch that in other ways, but I'll kind of show you the reason you might not want to do that, at least with this experimental feature in Skybox. So what you want to do is make sure that your phone is actually on the same Wi-Fi as your headset. That's the normal requirement for being able to use AirPlay across any device. And then once that's done, you can see here, if you can see this in the recording, there's a Skybox AirPlay option to mirror my screen. So we'll go ahead and mirror that. You can see it's loading. Now it's not very fast. It takes quite a few seconds for this to actually take hold here. So now screen mirroring is on. I'm gonna open up this video here of me checking out the Apple Vision Pro. And you can see it's playing. There's a couple of laggy bits there. Overall, the image quality is really good, especially for files that are small like this. You can see it's in the vertical aspect ratio. Let's switch over to another one here. You can see here this immerse video. This is just some footage I took on the Quest. It's in landscape orientation, but it fills the window pretty nicely. Local files actually perform very well with audio sync too. I didn't notice any issue with these smaller files on my phone. But if you are, it's a very exciting time. Larger, longer files didn't perform so well. You can hear and see in this kind of desynced issue in this clip here. Any headphones out there that actually have mics on them, it just didn't seem like this would be very useful. But when it comes to the Quest, I mean the, yeah, that wasn't so great. Here's some footage of me driving in my hometown of St. Louis. I'm not driving with a phone in my hand. I actually have on the Meta Ray-Bans here. And lastly, just for fun, I tried to stream YouTube from my phone to the AirPlay casting in Skybox. You can see there's some weird aspect ratio stuff going on here. I think it came from actually turning the phone. And when I turned it back, you can see there's no portrait orientation built into this experimental feature. So it kind of got a little wonky after that. And you can see here the one-to-one -one match that the stream is actually only about a second late in the headset compared to what's actually playing on the phone. So it's pretty close. So what do you guys think? I think it's pretty cool that they got this to work without any special permissions from Apple to get it done. I think if they open up those permissions, this will work quite smoothly, actually. I can't really see a whole lot of use cases for it, to be honest, but if you wanna look at any, either local videos on your phone or, or photos, it's a really neat feature to have. And the more options we have, the better, right? Listen, I appreciate all the amazing support from you here on the channel. Some great things coming up. I'm trying to organize my life around staying consistent here, but I appreciate each and every one of you, and we'll see you here next time in the construct. Peace.